All right. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Shimra Kakwadash. Um, this video is going to be entitled, And He That Endureth to the End, the Same Shall Be Saved. And you can find that scripture in the book of Matthew. And, um, you know, the reason why I'm doing this video on this particular topic is because, you know, we, we're not saved yet. You know, we're still in this world, okay, that is given into the hand of the wicked. We're still in this flesh, you know, and, um, you know, Yahweh Shai hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't came back yet. So, you know, with all that being taken into consideration, you know, there's still a lot to endure, you know, and I know, you know, speaking for myself first and foremost, you know, there's ups and downs, you know, there's, there's highs and lows, and, you know, you know, brothers, you know, you're not the only one going through certain things, you know, we're all going through certain things, as the scripture uh, says, you know, through much affliction, you know, we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, okay, you know, we see prophecy coming to pass in, in front of our face, you know, right before our eyes, I should say, you know, we, we see um, America basically just, you know, pissing off the whole entire world, you know, and we see these devils are divided, you know, so, you know, that persecution, you know, that, that's, 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 uh, uh, you know, ramping up, you know, so to speak, and, you know, with all these things, man, you know, it, 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 it can become heavy, but at the same time, you know, we, we have the scriptures to always run to and give us uh, consolation in times of need. Okay, so, Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting, you know, that it builds brothers up in the faith, you know. Because, you know, I, I'll be the first one to say it, you know, me, myself, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I go through things, man. You know, we all go through things. But we have to endure, man, you know, to the end, you know. Which that's, you know, going to be the name of this um, video. So I want to start here in the book of Job 13 and 13. It says, hold your peace. Let me alone that I may speak and let come on me what will. And, you know, we all know the story of Job. Okay. You know how he had a, basically he had three, um, you know, three men that were telling him, you know, this, that, and the other. But, you know, he was like, yeah. I would speak like that if I, you know, if I was in your place, you know, because he was speaking from catching, you know, uh, he was from a, speaking from the perspective of a position where he was catching a lot of hell, you know, so he was saying, hold your peace, let me alone that I may speak and let come on me what will, and that's how we have, that's what, that's the mind frame we have, let come on me what will, you know, whether it be, uh, you know, death, or whether it be, you know, we make it out of here alive, you know, let, 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 you know, whether it be trials and tribulations, whether it be, you know, any manner of affliction, or, 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 uh, things, you know, let, let, let it be the Lord's will, it says, wherefore do I take my flesh in my teeth, and put my life in mine hand, you see, it says, I put my life in mine hand, okay, so, you know, Job was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to do what I got to do, basically, you know. L let it be the Lord's will. What happens? This is, let me see. One second real quick. You know, and, and, and you know, and for the most part, no matter what we go through, hey, you know, we, we, we feel like that too. It says, the 15th verse, Job 13 and 15, it says... Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. Right, so even in death, man, though, you know, how about Shimei Shai slay you, hey, you're gonna, you, you know, you have to maintain your own ways. Because sometimes you cast so much hell, man, you don't even know if the Lord will be dealing with you. Sometimes it'd be uh, for righteousness sake, you know, and sometimes it'd be for, um, you, you know, your wickedness. But either way, you know, you, you maintain your integrity. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine own ways before him. Right, even unto death, man. Even unto death, you maintain your ways before him. You know, you got to do exactly what the Heavenly Father commanded you, okay? And that's the mind frame that we have, you know? 
that we're supposed to have. This is Psalm 71 and uh, 14. It says, but I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. Right, so, you know, you know, we're not dead yet, you know. So, what do we do? We will hope continually and we get praise thee more and more. So, the Lord hasn't slayed us yet, but, you know, we're going to retain, maintain our integrity. But I will hope continually, right? So, and we continually have hope, man, that, that you know, that if we continue to do the things that Yahweh Bashem Yahshai has commanded of us, that he will save us. That's why it says here in Psalm 71 and 14, I'm going to run it back. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more and more. So we have to continue to do the work, man, more and more, you know. The scriptures say, say abound in the work, abound in the ministry, and abound, you know, grow. Grow in faith and gr grow in charity, grow in um, knowledge, you know. It's good to be in the history. It's good to uh, look things up, you know, the Hebrew, you know. It says... We'll get praised him more and more, right? And we're going to praise the, the Lord more and more, man. It's not time to slack, but, you know, it's time to, uh, you know, preach this, this gospel, you know, as far as, you know, as hard as we can and as much as we can. This is Psalms 104, 104 and 33. I will sing unto Yahweh as long as I live. I will sing praise to my power while I have my being. You see that? I will sing unto Yahweh as long as I live. And, and when you go into that word sing, let's see if I can get it real quick. Psalms 104 and uh, let's see let's see what it says for that word song sing sing shayar oh, no. Salak, yeah, that's the second word the second sing in in Psalms 104 and 33 the second one is Zamar Zamar Strong's H 2167 Zamer. Zamer. Right, it says, reading the scripture, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my power while I have my being. And and that word, the second word, sing to my power, is praise, make music, to make music, sing, to play a musical instrument. So the Heavenly Father, when He hears these these words, man, it's like um, singing praise unto Him, man. It's like play, it's like music. It's like playing an instrument, man. You know. And the scriptures say no man could could um, could sing the song, uh, but the 144,000, man. That's so why we hope and we continually hope and praise the Lord more and more that we be those men, because you know we it could you know through the spirit you know we could very much be those men. Yeah, and, and we and we uh we take you know we take uh, action in that you know we take we take a, a spiritual uh, righteous praise in that you know so we have to you know no matter what we go through. Because we're going to go through things, man. Right? Let's get a couple scriptures on going through things, man. Because I know brothers out there go through things. You know, I go through things, you know. You know, miscarries in the truth. Let's get the book of... Uh, let's see where I want to go to. I wrote some scriptures down. Let's see if I can uh, get them all out. This is First uh, Thessalonians 3 and 3. That no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed unto... They're unto, right? We're appointed they're unto these afflictions, man. So no matter, brothers, you know, maintain your integrity, man, because you know, we, we th this is part of the ministry, you know. Look, if you read the apostle Paul and the things that he went to, went through, you know, he went through a lot of things, man. And he 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 suffered for the kingdom. This is um uh, let's see. Uh, right. When you look uh up that word in First Thessalonians three and three, afflict, aff, no, salakia, afflictions. It means a pressing, pressing together pressure, right? Pressure, man. You, hey, there's pressures, man. You know, you 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 know, there's temptations. You might feel pressure to do something off. Metaphor: oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, straits. You see that? Tribulation, distress, straits. Yeah, you're gonna go. Through different uh, tribulations, you're gonna go through different uh, hard hard places, you know. But it says that that no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. So we're appointed unto these things, man. And when you look up that word appointed, real quick, in the Greek, Strong's G twenty one 
Forty-seven, forty-nine. Kaimai. Kaimai. It says to be set by the Most High's intent, i.e., destined, appointed. Right. So we're, 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 we're if you're part of the elect, you're set up to be part of the elect. But you're also you're set up to 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 um to go through afflictions, man. It's not going to be easy. Look at what Yahweh Shai had to go through. You know. Look at what Yahweh Shai had to go through. Yahweh Shai had to be made a, a he was a laughing stock, man, and he he got put to death for for his, for you know, for what he did upon the earth, you know, for bringing the 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 sinners to repentance, man. You know, people thought he was a, a they were calling him Beelzebub, man. They they thought that he was a, a um some type of like warlock or something, man. So you know, people are gonna look at you crazy, you know, because you know, you might do some reprobate things, man, but if the Spirit be with you, you know, you're justified. You know, not saying that, you know, you're, you're not supposed to do reprobate things, but what I'm saying is that, you know, that you know the the, 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 the elect, man, they, they're going to go through hell and be made looked at, and, you know, and be, and be put in a certain type of light, okay, all for the kingdom of the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to keep it—you got to keep it 100 with yourself, man, and the things you do. You know, you—you you may be looked at a certain type of way, but at the same time, if you be part of the leg, you're gonna fight. You're gonna fight to get back on track. You're gonna get fight to 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 uh, you know, to cleanse yourself of all unrighteousness, man. And you can only do that through your Yahweh Shai. You know, this is uh, Second Thessalonians two and um. For so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. Okay, so the, apo the apostle Paul was telling the Thessalonians, man, he's like, we glory in you in the churches of the Most High for your patience and faith. You see, because you have to have patience, man. You have you have to have patience, man. You know. What does it say? Um, let patience have its perfect work. In Romans the 5th chapter. Right? I think, it, yeah, it's Romans 5. If I'm not mistaken. It says, Romans 5 and 3, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Right? Your tribulation that you go through, it worketh patience, man. You see? And patience experience, right? And patience, you know, when you've been through certain things, you learn to be not, you know, not, uh, uh, you know, fly off the deep end, so to speak, you know, and, and, and that takes time, you know, it says experience and experience hope, so you're supposed to learn from your mistakes, man, and, and learn not to do the same, you know, make the same mistakes, but if you do, hey, you know, let, you know, be patient with yourself, man, you know, and learn from the experience, see what, you know, what, what, what you did this time that you could tweak better next time, or, you know, what not to do, you know, and experience hope, right, and experience you have hope because you've been through so much things. You say to yourself, you know what, man? I'm still in the faith. You know, I'm still doing what I got to do. Hey, that, that, that gives you hope. You know what I'm saying? And hope make it not a shame. Right. There's no there's no shame in having hope, man. In righteous things. There's no shame. There's no shame in, in, in uh, hoping for better. You know, there's no shame in knowing where you go off and knowing that, you know, it takes time to get right. There's no shame in that, man. We all need that. You know what I'm saying? We all need to take that into consideration. It says, And hope make it not a shame, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in your hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. Right. As long as you have the Holy Spirit, you know the Lord is still dealing with you. As long as you can, you know, you know, you have that faith, you know, and have faith to yourself and, with the, and, and to the Most High. You know what I'm saying? It's a spiritual thing. You know when the Spirit is dealing with you, and you know when it's not. You know? King Saul knew when the Spirit wasn't dealing with him. Okay? That you're supposed to know yourself. Know ye not, ye, you know, yourself, lest ye be reprobate. So you're supposed to know yourself, man. And know that you ain't a reprobate, man. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of avenues and a lot of different things that, you know, you're going to encounter in this walk, man. You know, the Apostle Paul, hey, he, he spoke about, uh, you know, uh, shit, you know, being shipwrecked and, and, and all kinds of things. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can find that scripture real quick. 
It's in Corinthians for sure. This I got it right here. The Second Corinthians. I have to Google my scriptures. And that's how I find them. This is Second Corinthians eleven. Let's see. One twenty-five. All right. This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 23. Are they ministers of Hamashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more. Okay. He says, I am more. You know, because, you know, the Apostle Paul, he wasn't behind the chiefest of apostles, man. You know what I mean? Even though he was born, you know, uh, into the into the truth, through the spirit, you know, at, at an untimely birth. Like he was the last of the apostles to be born, you know. To come into the truth is are they ministers of Mashiach? I speak as a fool, I am more, and labors more abundant, and stripes above measure, and prisons more frequent, and deaths oft. Of the Jews five times received I forty stripes, saved one. Thrice I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day I have been in the deep, in journeys often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. You see that? All these things he went through. Now, somebody outside of the faith would be like, man, why do you got to go through all those things, man? God's not with you. But the scriptures tell you in the book of Acts, man, through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom of the Most High, man. Through much troubles, through much different things, man. You know, they thought Paul was mad. They thought Yahweh Shai was mad, you know. And, you know, we see this persecution where uh, these, um, what do you call it? You know, you got the, the media uh, portraying the Israelites to be a terrorist group, man. They think we're mad. Okay. So I just wanted to bring that out real quick. Let me go back to the book of Romans. You know. Believe that, man. We're, we're seen in a very different light. If we were severed from the world, okay, then yeah, you're going to be seen in a different light, man. People are going to look at you like, man, why doesn't this guy do the things that we do, you know? Because you have to make sure that, you know, you have balance and temperance, man. You know, you, you use the world, but you don't abuse of the world. You know what I'm saying? Because then you can ju be judged with the world. This is Romans 8 and 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? So who's going to separate us from the love of Hamashiach, man? If the Lord be with us, who can be against us? Okay, if the true spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai be on us, if he's revealed secrets and mysteries and and, and, and give us the, 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 the wisdom, okay, that is on high, not man's wisdom, because man's wisdom is foolishness, then who then hey man, who can condemn us, man? Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach shall tribulation? Now I looked up some of these words, I wrote them down. I'm gonna read a little bit of these words it says shall tribulation so because we we read these words but we don't know really our um we need to learn these words so tribulation now tribulation is great trouble or suffering you see so tribulation or distress and distress is what it says extreme anxiety or sorrow you see extreme anxiety or, or sorrow so you have to search out your own salvation with with fear and trembling man when you go into that word trembling it means uh, anxiety, okay, but still doing what you got to do, you know what I'm saying, or in sorrows, because, you, you know, sometimes you're not going to want to do a video, sometimes, you know, you, you're going to be like, you know, you know, you look like the deer, you know, deer, you know, and, and caught in some headlights, you'd be like, oh, snap, I got to do the work, okay, you know, because we in the flesh, man, you know, your mind racing, at, you know, thinking about all kinds of things, what is going to happen, what if not, well, you know what, we got to fight through all that, man, you know, so tribulation or distress or persecution. Now we see the persecution coming even now. But I looked it up. It says hostility or ill treatment, especially because of race, political or religious beliefs. Okay? So you're gonna you yeah, there's gonna be persecution, and that's not gonna separate you, man. You know? That's not gonna separate you from from Yahweh Bashim Yashai, these these things that Paul names. Because he said he was persuaded, man. Which I'm gonna go ahead and read. 
or famine, and we know what famine is, when there's no food, or nakedness, nakedness, or peril, which is danger, or sword, right, not even, not even sword, man, you know, not even guys, uh, 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 pulling out guns, you know what I'm saying, not even that's going to separate you from the Lord, okay, I'm going to jump down to Romans 8 and 38, for I am persuaded that neither see he said he was persuaded man so he, he he was convinced he said you know what you know all these things that he had went through that we read in second corinthians 11 all those things that he went through he he, he became persuaded because the spirit was still on him and he was still doing the work you know and that's that's the hope that we have so we continue to hope man and even more and more man while we still have life hey brothers continue to fight man continue to pray that the spirit be on you pray fast you know what I mean? Continue to stay in the Word. That's that's key. That's you know I'll be honest with you. That that has been my fuel. I you know that is very important to stay in the stay in the Word. The scriptures tell you in Revelation the first chapter, blessed is he who readeth. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, which are demons. All right, that's another thing I want to speak about. Demons, man. You you gonna have spirits fucking with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me for saying it like that, you know. But I'm going to put it to you like this, man. If Moses parted the Red Sea, all right, if Yahweh Shai uh, 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 um, cured people from, from uh, different uh, demons, you see, if, if, if uh, you know, if, if David could, could, could uh, leap over a wall, you know what I'm saying? And go to battle and, and, and fight thousands of thousands. Believe it. You're in a supernatural thing. So you are going to be messed with supernatural, uh, if I could say that word, uh, uh, entities, man. Okay? Nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers. Right? This isn't no, this isn't no, um, this is, th what we're involved in, okay, it's, it's very spiritual, man. It's not just uh, go sit down in a church pew and, you know, and, and, and not be a, uh, 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 Christian, so to speak, after church. Nah, man. You're an Israelite no matter what. You know, 24-7. So this, this thing is very um, demanding. And it's very uh, spiritual. It's a spiritual thing, man. And if you're part of the elect, yeah, you're going to have spirits trying to mess with you, man. You know what I mean? You have to, you have to, you have to be able to perceive that. Perceive that this truth is, is is beyond this realm of the world, especially the kingdom to come. You know, we speak about have, getting spiritual power. Well, we are gods, man. You know, we are gods having a human experience, not humans having a a, a, a spiritual experience. No, it's not like that, all right? Nor powers, all right? Now, I looked up that word powers. Let's see. Uh, yeah, powers. Power which belong to riches and wealth, right? The wealthy, the elites, Illuminati. They're they're not going to separate you from the love of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, it, it could also mean powers consisting or resting on armies, forces, or hosts, right? Not even the Illuminati, not even the the military, not death, not not destruction. You know, what I'm saying not famine. The scriptures say we shall laugh at all those things, man. So we have to continue knowing what the scriptures say, knowing that we've been. Uh, this truth has been broken down, you know, and every aspect of life has been touched upon, you know, and, 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 and we've got, you know, the, the basic uh, map to get out of here. we got the escape route, you know what I'm saying, to the spirit. Nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Not things present, nor things to come, man. Eh? Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Hamashiach, which... Uh, with the love from Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see? Nothing, man. If you're part of the elect, not, you're going you're gonna to go through all these things, man. So you, so continue to endure. Continue to endure. Because it's, it's going to be a hard... It's going to be hard. You know what I'm saying? Look at what Paul had to go through. This is the book of... Let's see. Let's get this real quick. This is the book of... This is one of my favorite scriptures. First Peter 4... And 12, it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Right, don't think it's strange, man. Don't think it's strange when you're going through some things that are like abnormal. You see? Look at what our, read uh, Hebrews the 11th chapter, what our forefathers went through, man. 
our forefathers, they 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 got put to death. Imagine all the ridicule and the mocking and all the things they had to go through, man. Don't think it's strange, man. Don't think it's strange, you know. You know, know 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 what moves you're making. You know what I'm saying? Know what's the move, but at the same time, you know. Don't think it's strange, you know. Don't 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 second guess.